Hey everyone, this is Wei and thanks for joining me here once again. Now for this video, I'm going to be drawing a cube and then we're going to add in a light source and then from that light source, we're going to shade the cube. And these kinds of exercises will help you understand how light interacts uh, with surfaces so that eventually you'll be able to draw whatever you want and then shade it without using any kind of reference. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so I'm going to start drawing a very simple cube. Okay, I'm just going to have a very basic parallel cube. And now when you're first drawing this cube, um, it might be hard for you to, to see. But the way I'm drawing is I'm moving my whole arm. It's like my whole arm swings to get these uh, straight lines. You know, um, what you don't want to do is tighten up your wrists and then try to try to uh, you know anchor your your um, your wrist onto the paper and then you know just try it by moving your your fingers to try to get those lines. Uh, that's something you don't want to do because it creates a really hard line and and it's usually very hard to make make a straight line. Um, you know, if, it takes a lot of practice, but it's not very comfortable. It's a lot easier if you just move your whole arm. And just kind of do it lightly, go back and forth. So if you're going straight, you know, you can go. It's, just, it's like, the more of your arms moving, you know, the, the straighter, um, the better the line quality will be. And actually I talk about that on my other videos, but. Okay, so let me just shade this in real quick. I'm enjoying these lines. All right, so let's go with that. Uh, we don't have to go too crazy. All right, so let's just identify a light source, okay? We have this cube uh, now, and let's just say it's sitting on a table. So I'm gonna put in a light source, and I'm gonna, let's say, if I go from here, and then let's go, let's see, I should move the paper up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight up here, and let's just say, Okay, let's put the light source right around here. Now the reason I'm drawing this line here is because I want to see where um, the base of the light source is in relationship to the to, to the uh, to the cube because we we need to be able to visualize. We need to know that that this the light source right here is on top of this area right here. All right, so we have a light right here going up. And all the lights just kind of radiate from this area. So in order to figure out how that this work, like, you know, where is the, uh, you know, parts in, in like different shades, right, for, for this cube. What you want to do is just envision the, uh, the light source coming here. I'm just going to take any point and I'm going to hit this surface right here. Okay. So let's say it hits this and it goes down straight down to the surface. Now, if you can visualize that, now let's let's hit this area too on the top. So I'm just gonna hit any area and then go like that. Okay. Now the back here, this is not gonna get hit by light at all. So this is gonna be the darkest part, obviously. So now, why did I do this thing? It's because you want to find out the angle of the light. Okay. And this is very important. And this will kind of tell you, um, you know, how how dark this area is gonna be. So this envision, let's see, like if this was from the side view, like the box, the light's hitting here, and then that's your angle right there, okay? Now, the brightest part is when, it, when you hit any area in a 90 degree, because if your light's right here, you shine it, that'll be uh, perfectly white, right? And as your light source move up, right, you're gonna hit it here, so your angle is gonna get wider and wider. And the wider it is, the less light it's gonna get. So that means it's gonna be darker. So you can envision this, right? This angle right here. So obviously it's not a 90 degree angle. So that means this is gonna get a little bit of shading. Now this angle here, you see how much wider it is. So, so just from you know comparing these two angles, we know this one is gonna be darker than this one, okay? So let's just uh, shade in some values and we'll see where it goes. So this area we know is going to be the darkest part. Okay. And this is just basically regular, well, very messy cross hatching. But... 
All right, so let's just go with that. So we know this part is going to be darker. So let's just do that. Now don't go too dark, you know, just in case uh, kind of messed up a little bit. So in this part, it's going to get a little bit shading. So I'm going to I'm going to make it pretty light just to give us a start. Because we could always go darker, but we can't go lighter, right? Okay. So now we have basically like a one, two, what you know, what what a lot of people call one, two, and three. Because it's one, two, and three because you have three different sh um, values on the surface. Okay. So let's make this slightly even darker. Now that I look at it, just to give it a little bit more contrast. Okay. So let's tighten up those lines a little bit. Just so we can see a little bit better. Okay, so just from, from basically just measuring, you know, hitting the surface and finding the angle, you know which one's going to be darker and which one's going to be lighter. All right, so let's move on to uh, let's let's give it you know some kind of um, shadow so that you can. You can you know visualize the cube a little bit better. Now the shadow, um, I don't know if you guys are used to doing this, but they teach this kind of stuff in perspective class. So for any, let's see, let me sketch right here real quick. So like if you have a uh, cube like this, right? What we have to figure out a shadow, what you want to do is just envision you just have like three like poles, you know, at the corner. And then from there, you can find the light source. Just ignore these lines for now because those are just, you know, connecting the dots. Just, just imagine that you have like a bunch of light poles, sticks stuck into the ground. And then we're going to have to find, you know, where these sticks, uh, how they cast a shadow, right? All right, so to do that, here's your light source. Okay, here's, here's the bottom of the pole. That's why we have this right here. So, so if we can envision this to be like a light pole, like a stick on the ground, right? So we're gonna find this point here from the light pole, the bottom bottom point, we're gonna connect that and then we're gonna extend it, okay? So we know that this light, this uh, this stick right here is gonna cast a shadow right here. So the question is, well, how far does it go, right? So to find that out, it's pretty easy. Just here's your light source. We're gonna go straight to the top of the stick okay and then we're going to extend it keep going keep going and then there's your there's your point now you can use a ruler uh to get like a much straighter line but i'm just kind of eyeballing it because it's whatever i'm just i'm just trying to illustrate the point so from here the top casting a shadow here that's your tip of your uh the shadow so now we know the shadow is going to go from here to here okay now to get, so now we have this stick. Now let's sit and find out for this stick. Same thing from here. We're gonna go straight. Okay, go straight over here. That extend. Well, how far does it go? Now there's actually a pretty easy way to do this um, because we know this is uh, this is parallel, right? These two lines right here. So basically, if you do another parallel uh, line from this point here to this, you you you'll pretty much get this point here. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Let's just say it's right around there. Okay, so from the bottom here, it's going to be somewhere right here. And we can check it, right? Let's say uh, we'll just, just test it out. I'm probably off because it's pretty hard to try to draw straight lines like this. Okay, so I'm off somewhere, right? According to this line, I should be here. But let's see, according to this, okay, I'm probably off. So let's just say somewhere right here. Okay, so now we have that point. And same thing here. Let's uh, let's see. We can, we need to get this stick. So you got to kind of um, visualize how it is in there. Now a quicker way to do it, you know, because we know this is parallel again. So we're just gonna go this. Get this point here. And we're gonna go this way. Okay. So we know something like that. Now how far does this go? That's where you gotta get this point. So we still kind of have to get this point. So it's probably somewhere right here, so we connect that straight through. 
So it's probably gonna be somewhere right there. That's where it connects. So this point right here is that point. All right, so now we have this uh, four points and we just kind of connect it. And that should give us a shadow. Now I know I know it's, you know, this shadow thing might take a little bit of work, but it's actually pretty easy. And, you know, if, if you don't need it to be that accurate, it's, you can actually do it fairly quickly. And all right, so this is a shadow. I'm just gonna shade it in. Right. I'm gonna switch to a 4B. Just so, because the shadow is um, usually the darkest part. The cast shadow is the darkest part, I mean. Okay. So let's see, let's do that. Now that we have the shadow in, um, it kind of you know brings everything into into play, right? Now you feel like this thing is this cube is actually sitting there, and that's why we're doing the shadow for these kind of exercises because it's actually important to see it in space. All right, so I'm gonna keep using this 4B because it's much darker and it's quicker. Now, once we have to shade it in, um, we're gonna we're gonna apply some kind of effects to this so that you know this looks even you know more and more realistic so when we're dealing with light um it's not just you know the the primary source light here there's always a bounce light here right because you're casting you know you're, you're lighting up the table all around and it's gonna bounce upward into the uh, into the cube so let me draw this accentuate this line a little bit okay because this it will have a little shadow there Okay, so as the light hits this, it's gonna bounce back up here, right? So this area is gonna right here is gonna be a little bit lighter. Um, now I can take a eraser and make this part a little bit lighter, or I can just make the dark here, make the top here a little bit darker. Okay. So now you get this. See by making this. Uh, Top is darker, now there's a little gradation effect here, and it feels like you know some light is bouncing up, right? So it makes it makes it feel a lot more realistic. Now, of course, when you look at bounce light, you gotta look at where it's bouncing from. Like area in the sh in the uh, cast shadow area right here doesn't have any light, so it's not gonna bounce up here, right? So that's why now from here this thing bounced. So just kind of envision like a, almost like a mirror image of this shadow right here. As if this plane is a mirror, how would this is gonna reflect back? So this area right here is actually gonna be darker because you're not gonna get the bounce light. All right, let me switch to, to my two uh, B. So this this edge right here is gonna be slightly darker because the bounce light is coming from here, and this is gonna cast upwards. So just think of like a mirror mirror effect. Okay. Okay, so now you can see, you know, this area right here is a little bit darker, I mean, lighter. And now you can start to feel that there's, you know, some kind of light play around this area. And, okay, now same thing right here uh, on this side. This is actually, this area is going to get a lot of bounce light, right? Because this is, this is actually pretty bright. Um, so you can either make this light, since this, this is pretty light already, let's just make this area darker. Slightly darker now because not too much. Reason is, um, I mean, this whole area is really lighting up this whole surface, so it won't be as dramatic as this, or because there's you know black and white, so that's why you see this um, kind of mirror effect. So I'm just gonna do that. And that should give it a little bit more feel. You see, like this area is a little bounced up, a little bit lighter. Um, just gonna take a neat eraser. Let's just accentuate it. Okay. Now, now that I made this darker, this top edge right here darker now. Now this edge is starting to fade in, right? Kind of blend in. And so let's just make this area a little bit darker too. Just so that you get a little bit more of that contrast.
So, you know, you can get really te technical about this and actually start to measure the angles and give it a certain value um, if you want to get into that much realism. You know, you can do that too, but it takes a lot more time. So, now that I made this darker, this, this edge doesn't see, feel like it's very dark, so I'm just going to shade that in a little bit more. So that's usually how it goes, you know, um, if you do it slowly, let things build up, you're going to see, you know, what, how the values are affecting each other. And that's, you know, that's the art behind it. You know, it might not be realistic, super realistic, but it's going to give you that effect. And that's actually what I really like about drawing. It's just, you know, you don't, you don't want to just straight copy things. It's just right, well, pretty boring. So let's, and you can even do, let's say, uh, what is just the table edge right here. And then, you know, you can make this a little bit darker or whatever to, to give it a little bit more space. But uh, overall, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty fun to do. Uh, and this is very good practice. All right, so let me do another uh, real quick example as to you know how you can put this kind of stuff in um, when, when when you're drawing and stuff. Let's I mean let's just take something really simple, right? Um, like a two. Let's say you're drawing some kind of really crude robot arm. Let's say let's see. Let's just say you do that. Something like that. Okay. So basically two um, rectangles. You know, connected by a tube and if you really look into it I mean you know a lot of you know, human forms can be broken down into this kind of shapes okay so just working with this basic shape let's say let's just say well let's do that again right here uh, let's say the light maybe right around here okay so that's your light source right here so again as quickly as you can go uh, just go straight down find that here's your angle okay and then let's see to this surface, this angle. See this angle to this surface. Okay. Now you got to envision like this is you know this. You got to be able to visualize this, this plane, right? It's going this way. So that is that is almost a ninety degree angle, right? But not a slightly uh, bigger than a 90, 90 degree angle. All right. So these two areas are going to be in the shade, in the shadow. Okay, so this is dark, dark. Okay. We're gonna ignore this uh, cylinder for now because it's... We'll deal with round shapes later on. All right, so now we know this one is gonna be the lightest area. And from this two, uh, this one again is a little bit wider. So this one's actually gonna be the second darkest. And then this will be kind of like the number one. So it would be actually pretty similar to that, what we drawn earlier. And this one is going to catch a little bit, so I'm just going to you know, put in some real light shading. And if you want to draw, let's see, shade this, this area right here. Okay, now if you can imagine this bouncing onto that surface. It's, got, it's a pretty wide angle, so it would be pretty, pretty dark too. I mean, not as dark as this, okay, so I probably went too dark right here. So to compensate, I can make this area a little bit darker. Okay, so now it looks like, you know, this one is not as dark. Okay, so we do that. One, two, so one, two, three, and this will be one, two, and three. So let's make this slightly darker just to give it a little bit more contrast. Okay. So that's pretty much it, you know. Um, not super realistic obviously because it's just a quick sketch but it'll give you an idea as to you know um, just some really quick sh geometric shading and so you can start seeing the forms in in any you know anything that's more complicated you can still visualize this and get just an idea of you know how, how things will be shaded so you can practice with this kind of really s simple uh, forms Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.